Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Light Combat Aircraft LC Tejas is a 4.5th generation 6 seat multi-role fighter aircraft designed by Aeronautical Development Agency ADA in collaboration with Aircraft Research and Design Center ARDC of HAL. The LC Tejas currently has three production variants Tejas Mark 1, I, Mark 1A I, and Trainer variant. Indian Air Force has placed an order for 40 Tejas Mark 1 I and 83 Tejas Mark 1A, I, which includes 18 Tejas trainer aircraft. Indian Air Force plans to procure 324 aircraft in all variants, including Tejas Mark 2, currently being developed by HL. The Tejas Mark 2 is expected to be ready for series production by 2026 to 2027. While this MK-1 is a potent fighter in its class, the Indian Air Force was looking for a few more enhancements to make it more lethal and powerful platform. The TS Mark I lacks in electronic warfare capabilities, performance shortcomings of radar warning receiver or missile approach warning system, limited internal fuel capacity, non-compliance of fuel system protection, inadequate forward-facing pilot protection, and performance shortfalls due to underpowered engine. These shortcomings are going to be addressed in TS Mark 1A, which will have a total of 43 improvements over TS Mark 1. This includes the reduction of screws in several airframe panels that required daily servicing. This will reduce the turnaround time of the aircraft. Indian Air Force also wants air panels that can be replaced without taking too much time, and this will be supplied to Indian Air Force with quick release fasteners. Many LRUs, that is, line replaceable units, will be repositioned and new LRUs are to be included, keeping in mind the maintainability easiness. The TS Mark 1A will also have more indigenous component than Mark 1. The TS Mark 1 has 58% level of indigenization, which will be increased to 65% in Mark 1A. The shortcomings such as increased weight, reduced speed would also be addressed in upcoming TS Mark 1A aircraft by increasing the use of composite in manufacturing and reducing the supersonic drag by using more aerodynamic pylons. The upgraded TS Mark 1A aircraft will retain the basic Mark 1 framework while featuring an AESA radar, DARE unified electronic warfare suite, an externally mounted self-protection jammer for enhanced survivability, instrument flight rules capability, onboard oxygen generation system for endurance and an expanded weapon suite consisting of Astra Beyond Visual Range air to air missile and ASR AM short range air to air missile by MBDA. HL will install in-house developed combined interrogator and transponder CIT with digital map generator which is an upgraded version of older identification friend or foe IFF system. To better accommodate the pilots, the cockpit floor is also being reshaped. The Uttam AES radar, which is going to be integrated, will have a range between 180 to 200 km along with LPI, low probability to intercept. The radar will have integrated transponder, which will be able to differentiate between friend and foe. Considering the futuristic air combat situation, the TS Mark 1A will have capabilities to communicate across various other aircrafts and military assets on land or on air through BNET software-defined radio softwares. The software-defined radios or SDRs will provide Tejas with data coming from various channels which will be used and fused together to give the pilot all information he or she need to optimally perform the mission. Usually these channels are either UAVs or a VOX platform in air but can also be other fighter jets. Another major improvement will be the incorporation of a multi-channel digital receiver based RWR which will be able to instantaneously track and identify the target aircraft. It will alert the pilot if a radar homing missile is approaching or if the aircraft is under radar lock by the enemy. The RWR is integrated with the radar and the jammer. If an electromagnetic wave hits the aircraft, the RWR will give a warning to the pilot and the self-protection jammer will automatically get activated and try to jam the enemy's radar source. The next upgrade is HMDS. 
the HMDS or helmet mounted display system in MK1A will be fully operational in air to air and in air to ground mode. The HMDS eliminates the use and the need of HUD that is heads up display system. The TS Mark 1A will feature a revamped DFCC that is digital flight control computer while the current DFCC is based on 386 series of processor, the new DFCC will feature PowerPC based computing architecture. This dramatically improves the computing performance. While the Mark 1 requires 24 physical connectors, the Mark 1A version would be a press fit mechanism drastically reducing maintenance overhead. The same will be used in Mark 2 version as well. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.